Hey everybody, just doing a little rundown video today, a little bit of a, a kind of an update, I guess. Um, I decided to go ahead and I got myself a bigger trailer. Um, it's going to be replacing my old 16 foot trailer for my business and for personal use. And that's it right there. It's a 2018 22 foot, 14,000 pound GVW Iron Bull drop deck. It's got the drive over fenders on it. So the really cool thing about this trailer is, like if I get to the front of it here, I can show you. The really cool thing is that it's it's got the width of a deck over so it's a full eight foot six in width like from the outer the outer edge to the outer edge is eight foot six and but it's got fenders so it's kind of like a car trailer or it is like a car trailer so you get that low center of gravity like you would with a drop deck or with a car trailer but you get the width of a, of a deck over so you can actually load you know wider things because you've got a bigger bigger deck width ways so you know this is going to be a big benefit to my business i think because or even just for hauling things in general you know if you just need to haul things that are a little bit wider because with my old with my old five ton trailer my 16 foot rainbow it was only, it was just a car trailer, right? It was only seven feet between the fenders. That's all the deck space that you got. So I wasn't really able to haul dualies. I wasn't able to haul uh, big offset trucks or Jeeps or anything like that. You know, and then you're also limited to just 16 feet of deck. So really, that's really, you. I was having to use like every inch of that trailer deck when I was hauling a pickup truck or something, or just anything longer, like a longer vehicle with a long wheelbase. And I just decided that I was better off just getting a bigger trailer. And I sold the five ton trailer a couple of weeks ago. The five ton trailer was a really good trailer. Like I can't say it was a bad trailer because it wasn't. It was a really, really, really good trailer. It was just a little bit too small for what I needed and it was I think I was just better off I was better justified to just use to utilize a larger trailer from then on because this trailer can do everything the five ton could do and more you know and I you know I probably could have just kept the five ton as well as this one but like I said like this one can do everything the five ton could do and more so I couldn't really fully justify keeping them both so i figured i would just sell the smaller one and just run this one but like i said this one's rated for seven ton gvw it has two seven thousand pound dexter axles these iron bulls are really nice i did quite a bit of research before i bought trailers i knew i didn't want to get a pj after watching some reviews of them and i knew very well i did not want a big tex for even more severe reasons than the pjs an iron bull really stuck with me with my research and everything else and there was a local dealer in my area so I got pretty fortunate there but yeah North Star owns iron bull and uh, yeah North Star makes truck decks and then they started making trailers it's got the adjustable adjustable hitch mount Sort of like my old 5-ton hat. I mean, I had the one welded to my 5-ton trailer. I never had that in the beginning, but... You got quite a few adjustments on this one, and typically this would come with a 2 and 5 16 cast coupler, but if you know my channel, you know I like the Pintle Ring, or the Pintle Hitch trailers. They're way more secure, they're way more heavy-duty. You know, if you can tolerate the little bit of banging around, you know, I'm used to it, but... For me, I'll always run Pintle on my bumper pulls. Unless it's like an enclosed trailer, I'll always run a Pintle. If it's a if it's a tag along trailer, like a bumper pull trailer. But anyways, you got like this big, I think it's a 10 ton jack 
or no, sorry, six, six ton jack, six ton jack, 12,000 pound jack. And it's kind of got like this gooseneck style um, jack on it, which is kind of neat. And it's got this self-charging battery box, breakaway box. I had this same sort of box on my old trailer I had put on, though it never had it originally. And you can actually mount another jack up front here if you wanted to, too. And I like this because it's got, it's got this nice offset headache rack on the front. So, you know, if you drive a vehicle on here, you know, you can only drive so far ahead. You know, if you can't judge how far away you are, and if you need to get it all the way to the front, you've got a barrier to at least stop. Or you could brace something against that so it doesn't slide ahead if you hit the brakes. So that's really nice to have, and it's offset so it doesn't take up any of your deck space, which is really nice. It's got full LED lights on it and DOT tape the whole way around the only things I had done to this trailer that's not from the factory is I had them weld me on uh, 10 more D-rings like it came with it came with a couple D-rings like it came with that one but I ended up having these ones here welded on the same sort of ones I had on my old trailer and then I've had those ones um, I had these two here welded on, so you can tie something down in the front or run something, you know, right over it. And then I had a winch mount welded to the front, onto the frame. That's just for my winch. Same sort of idea I had on the old trailer. And then I also had D-rings. I had D-rings, the big, big ones, welded within the uh, inner part of the fender, like on the frame part here. I got them on this side as well. Had to go with these really big ones with the, the smaller mount because uh, there wasn't quite enough meat of metal to weld to if I had these ones here and there because these ones are quite a bit wider. So I ran the bigger ones with the smaller the weld mounts on those within the fender. And then they gave you D-rings back here as well. And then you've got quite a few of these stake pockets, which is really nice. And then the only other thing I had put on is because this trailer has a dovetail, I think it's got a three foot, I think it's a three foot dovetail on this trailer is um, I had casters welded to the back of it for if I'm going down an incline or backing in a driveway. You know, hopefully that the trailer wouldn't drag, like the back end wouldn't drag if I was to back up it. So at least it's something to, uh, to uh, help gradually make it climb up like that. but we'll kind of see how those go. I just figured that was an idea because with a dovetail, you are a little bit lower to the ground on the back end, which I'm not really fully used to because I, my old trailer was not a dovetail and there, I do have to back in quite a few driveways. So, or even going down like an embankment in a field or something, picking something up, you know, you don't want to get caught up on something. But anyways, these ramps are just about full width. I think they're called the Rampage ramps. Something like that from Iron Bull. And these are pretty neat because they've got the spring assist and then they've got this really nice big grab handle here so you can actually pick them up without having to worry about breaking a crappy little handle off. It's actually a really good handle. You've got more stake pockets back here as well. And then the neat thing is, like, is if you, you basically unpin this, you pull this handle down you pull this handle down, and then you can basically tilt this whole ramp, and it's dual spring assist on this. You can tilt it all the way down to load something, and then if you've got like a full-size pickup truck or something really long on here, and you need the ramps to be able to go back down again if you want to offload it, so you don't want to load something on the ramps, because then, you know, you can't, you can't bring them back down if you have to offload it, so you can actually store these in the upright position, like this, like up vertically, and this bar will come off. You unpin this little bar, and then once you have the ramp stood up, you pin it, you pin this back into this one, and then down to this lower one here, it has a little draw pin hole there, and these will help keep these upright. So that's really neat. And it's got a self-cleaning dovetail, which is also good. Keeps gravel and stuff off it. But those ramps are much better than the ramps I had on my old trailer. The old trailer had removable ramps, and they were much more narrow. 
and there was a couple occasions where you'd be loading a car, or I'd be loading, loading a car rather, or a truck, and it was really icy, and the slippery surface of the ground would actually make the ramp of the trailer uh, kick out from underneath the vehicle that you're trying to load. So that's just sketchy and dangerous, and you risk damaging cars doing that on slippery surfaces. So it's kind of nice to have the ramps actually physically attached to the trailer, so I mean that eliminates that altogether. I guess the only other thing I added onto this trailer was this thing here too, this breakaway, uh, these breakaway uh, extender tether things. It's cable, it's still a, it's a breakaway cable still, like it's, I, I had one of these on my old trailer too, but it's, it prevents them um, from rubbing on the ground, having it like elastic like that. And then I just have it hooked in there onto my safety chain uh, loop on the hitch. Not to the chain itself, of course, but just to the to the trailer hitch. Onto that little clevis there on its own thing. But yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a little rundown of the trailer. I mean, it tows really well. For a bigger trailer compared to the old 5-ton, it pulls extremely well. You know, it's a good... 1600 pounds heavier than the old trailer was and it tows really great great down the road behind the truck you know no problems no complaints there but yeah i'm sure you'll see more of this trailer in the future i'm sure when i do more hauls than that but i got this a couple of weeks ago and i wanted to give you guys a rundown of it but again, it's a 22 foot, 22 foot deck from the front all the way to the back of the dovetail. And then it's a full eight foot six wide with the run over fenders. They're 3 16 diamond plate fenders. Apparently these things are rated to hold like 10,000 pounds. So, you know, you could run a dually truck over this. You could run a wide tractor over this. So that really opens the doors for stuff I can move now. You know, where before I had to deal with the seven foot because I couldn't run my fender. Well, I could probably run the fenders over, but I don't have enough deck on the old trailer to do that. So it's going to be really nice having this as an option now. Another thing I'll probably do in the springtime too is I'm going to put some nice stain on this deck. You know, a nice like oil-based stain or like water-resistant stain. It just helps to keep preserve the deck, makes it look better. And if I drive a vehicle on here that has like leaking oil or you know, leaking transmission fluid or whatever, then at least that's not gonna, hopefully, it's not gonna seep into the deck. I had that problem with my old trailer, but I didn't put stain on it, so that's probably why. But yeah, I'll try to get a, another shot of the truck and the trailer here. It's kinda hard to get it all in one shot, to be perfectly honest. That's it there. But yeah, anyways guys, I figured I would make this video just to give you the rundown of that uh, new trailer I got. Um, probably do more videos of it in the future, I'm sure, once I use it for more jobs. It's been out on about three, yeah, about three, three jobs now in the, in the week and a half or two weeks I've had it now. Um, I've hauled a car with it, I've hauled a snowmobile with it, and I moved a pickup truck box with it. And, yeah, I mean, I'm sure I have really high hopes and really good uh, feelings about this trailer. Being my new everyday trailer and being my new, like, work trailer. You know, like I said before, you know, with the old trailer I had, it wasn't a bad trailer. I'm not bashing the old trailer. It was a really, really good trailer. I ran that for five years. And it hauled just about anything I could ever ask it to haul. But this trailer, you know, it's longer, it's wider, it's got heavier axles, it's got the, the dovetail so I can load at a better angle if I'm loading different equipment or cars or, you know, whatever. Uh, like I said, the ramps won't kick out under this one like they did the old one. 
Uh, they're wider, the ramps, so you mean I can load, you know, anything I could really ever need, you know, scissor lifts, forklift, bobcat, tracked equipment, you know, whatever. The list goes on, snowmobiles, quads, side-by-sides, whatever, and not have to worry about the width between the ramps, you know, interfering with any of that. I can load dually trucks or vans on this trailer because it's got the wider width. Unlike the old trailer, I can load uh, small farm tractors that have wide tires on them where you know I couldn't do that with the old trailer you know I hold the one tractor but I mean uh you know that barely barely fit um on that trailer but you know I don't have to worry about that on this one I don't have to worry about rubbing or any of that so plus the longer length is really useful too you know you don't have to have overhang anymore you know unless you're over 22 feet in length but I mean the old trailer was 16 feet so this one's like eight feet longer and it's uh foot and a half wider and it's 4,000 pounds stronger as far as the you know maximum gross vehicle weight of it goes but anyways I figured I'd make this video for you guys just to like guys help keep you in the loop in that and uh, I'm definitely gonna be making some more videos here in the future um, as soon as I get some more hauls in that uh, with this trailer you know hopefully in the near future I'm sure if something's uh, pretty interesting, I'll definitely record it and post it up for you guys. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think and let me know what else you want to see on this channel. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, hope you guys had a good time and hope you guys stay safe out on the roads. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.